If you were living on a convex planet that was tilted at 23.5 degrees, you know how they do those time-lapsed photos of the stars? Well, see how there's a vertical streak on the right end of that animation? That's what you would see, but you don't see that. The camera location, location is not on the equator, it's in North America. The camera is horizontal, which means that you should have a vertical line, a vertical axis of the star streaks, but you don't have them. Don't have them. My Polish friend, colleagues, Karol, and actually he's the translator, the other guy, what's his name? He brought, he brought this up. I'll get his name in a second here. Now this is, this is what the animation is doing, basically. His name is, um, what's his name? He, he, he has a YouTube channel, it's called Sky Centricism. And he talks, he, he corroborates what I've been saying, that we live inside the world, and there's a glass sky, and he uses camera lenses, zoom lenses, like he'll put a camera in position, position a camera perfectly horizontal to the horizon, and in the middle of the camera, if you zoom all the way out, you'll have the horizon, but if you zoom all the way in, the horizon doesn't stay in the middle of the frame. It actually goes up higher. So the, actually the Earth is bringing, coming down lower. So what he's been telling you is that, and what I've been also telling you is that you see on a curve, there's level experiments. Levels don't work uh, farther than 100 meters because the line of sight, the sunlight is curving. It's, it's, it's doing the exact opposite of what they tell you it's doing. When it enters the atmosphere, it doesn't curve down, it actually curves up. That's why you can't see the full boat at horizon, on horizon at, at sea. So anyway, his name is Marius, M-A-R-I-U-S-Z. And his, trans, his Polish translator, Karol, asked me to put together this animation to show that the stars, what they show you here, I'll show you what, this is what one normally sees. See that picture? That's a that's an actual time lapsed photograph of the stars. However, it's not going vertical. It should be going vertical. That's proof that you're not living on a convex planet. The star streak should all be vertical. The camera is see the horizon? The horizon is is perfectly horizontal. The stars should be vertical, but they're not. They're tilted like that. That's proof. Proof! You are not living on a convex ball. Comprende? I'll show you. This is how I have the camera mounted. I, I created this virtual planet. I tilted it 23.5 degrees and I put the camera horizontal to the axis of the horizon. I spun the earth one time. That's what you get. You get the horizontal. I mean the vertical. You get the vertical streaks. I'll blow that up for you. All right. This puts it to rest. You are not living on the earth. You're living inside the earth. Watch how it goes. The camera is way up here. It's not on the equator. 
So North America and the, the star streaks are vertical. That's how it should be if you were really living on a convex planet, but they're not. So I thank you, my Polish friends, Karol and get his name again. Marius, Marius.